Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to get started with layer masks in GIMP. Now I have two different layers, one a full color image and the other a black and white image. And I have the black and white image on top of the color image. Now I'm going to put the layer mask onto the black and white image. And you're going to see how we can edit this to make it so some color comes through from the background and to keep some gray from the original image on top. So I'm going to right click on the top black and white layer and go down to add layer mask. And I'm either going to choose white full opacity or black full transparency. So the difference between these two is going to be the tool that you're going to use to erase the part of the image that you want to keep. So with the white full opacity, you're going to be using the brush to um, apply the layer mask. And with the black, you're going to be using the eraser. Now I'm just going to pick white and you can see it put this white box next to our black and white photo and we're going to make sure it's selected. If you go between these two, you can see that there is a white border around what is selected and you want to make sure that the layer mask is selected and we're going to go over to the brush tool and then I want to make the duck be colorful and the background black and white. So I'm gonna take the brush tool and I'm gonna go over the duck and you can see as I do it that the color comes through the background layer. And you can see over here that there is black showing up in our layer mask and this is us brushing where we want the mask to come through. Now let's do the same with the other option we have for the layer mask, if I undo all that, and then I right click again and click add layer mask and go to black full transparency and then I add that. And as you can see that makes it so that the whole photo is hidden by this layer mask and we will be using the eraser to erase that um, transparency so that the black and white comes through on the layer on top. So if we now switch to our eraser tool, we can erase the layer mask that we put on. And we now have a black and white duck on a colored background. So it's really your preference which layer mask you want to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and request what you would like to see in the comments below.